Welcome back to the Auto Car Show. Today we're at the BMW and Mini Driving Academy at Maizach in Germany, and we're here to spend some quality time with a car that's heading to India very, very soon, the BMW 1 Series. But the car is only one part of the story today. Joining us on track for the Dynamic 1 driving experience are eight very lucky contest winners and a very special guest, a man who needs very little introduction. I am, of course, talking about the master blaster himself, Sachin Tendulkar. As you can see, the weather gods were benevolent. And upon arrival at Maizak, we were all greeted by a wide expanse of pristine tarmac and blue skies. Everyone was uh, really excited to, you know, uh, looking forward, they were looking forward to uh, driving the One Series M Sport. And uh, when we reached here, when we saw the track and uh, all these things, you know, all the supporting crew, uh, it, it felt really great. After completing a few quick formalities, it was off to the first floor briefing room to await the master blaster. And when he walked through the doors, the atmosphere was electric. I had so many questions to ask Sachin, but I got so blank that uh, just say hello and it was an amazing experience being Sachin coming towards me. And... When Sachin was settled in, it was time for the lead instructor, Gerald, to take everyone through a comprehensive briefing. We are talking about a few uh, tasks that we will learn today, how to sit in a... Covering everything from the ideal seating position to the basics of oversteer and understeer. It's nice to get uh, the driving lessons because, you know, you, in spite of having driven for so many years, you still you still find out that there is a, a room for improvement. You know, there are so many things which uh, you take for granted that you know all these things. With the theory out of the way, it was time to hit the test track and get behind the wheel of the BMW M135i. Positioned at the top of the 1 Series lineup, the M135i is more a tuned by M car rather than a full fat M division monster and that's a good thing. It's a completely new 1 Series. In, in this version it has about 320 horsepower. Yeah? Uh, the acceleration is fantastic, the agility of the car is, is wonderful yeah? and it's brilliant to drive, very exact to steer. The session round the cones that familiarized everyone with the M135i and its control systems. So after that, it was off to the braking section where we would perform a series of emergency braking exercises and emergency lane changes. After the first few tentative runs, everyone took the chance to really launch the M135i off a standing start and experience the rapid acceleration before settling down to focus on braking. I do have ABS at home, but I would never try this at home. Never ever try this at home. The second part of the exercise, the lane change maneuver, was where a few drivers were caught out by the M135i's fast steering rack and more than a few cones were sacrificed in the quest for perfection. In case you're driving on high speeds in the rain, then you know what to do, how to brake and how to change your lanes, which is very important, you know, to avoid accidents or any mishaps. But even though everyone was enjoying their time behind the wheel, the icing on the cake was the chance to spend time in the car with the Master Blaster. It was amazing to see a, a legend sitting next to a legend like Sachin Tendulkar. And you can understand that he's, a, he's an amazing driver. You can't imagine anything better than that sitting next to him. Now when we started today's session, our instructor took great care to point out to us that the one series cars we were driving, the M135i's, had 320 horsepower on tap and were completely rear wheel drive. And I remember thinking to myself, I really hope we get to see how these cars drift. And as you can see, good things come to those who wait. And in my case, this whole experience is a little bit sweeter because I'm going to be sharing the car for the oversteering session with the master blaster himself. After switching off all the electronic nannies, we were sent out onto the wet skid pad in pairs, told to slot the 8-speed gearbox into manual mode, get it into second gear, turn in gently and give it the beans. 
The M135i's lightning quick throttle response ensures that the rear wheels shake loose in an instant, catching the best of us by surprise. <laughs> but the Master Blaster's legendary hand-eye coordination and quick instincts soon harness the 330 horses from the straight six engine and immediately the famous smile was on display even as the controlled slides had the audience spellbound. When you see Sachin, we think that he's good in everything. We expected him to be good and he was a great guy. I mean, I, I had a chance to drive alongside him. It was amazing. Two, one, go! The final item on the day's agenda was a race around a specially designed slalom course. Three, four, five, six, okay? With him? The group was split into two teams led by Sachin and racing driver Arman Ibrahim. Every driver had one shot at setting a lap time and the team with the lowest cumulative time would be declared the winner. That was amazing. I watched Sachin on TV, I never knew I'm going to be part of his team even though it's driving but still a crazy feeling. With bragging rights at stake, the competition was fierce with Captain Sachin almost matching Arman's time on the short course. Though by the end of the race, no one really cared which team won. It was phenomenal. I never thought it was going to be this amazing. And the fact that Sachin was with us throughout, the, like the entire day he was with us, I couldn't believe it. Thanks to BMW for, for making it happen and thanks to all the well-wishers for, for their endless uh, support and affection. It means a lot to me. So overall, a fantastic experience. What everyone present at Maizak took home, however, were unforgettable memories of a fast and dynamic hatchback and of spending a day in the company of one of India's greatest sportsmen, a man who, as we all learnt, is a certified car nut, just like us. We've all been waiting for the launch of Nissan's compact SUV. We all know that it's called the Terrano by now and that it's based on the Renault Duster. But we really wanted to see whether it looks different and whether it feels different. And for that, we came to its very Bollywood-style launcher in Mumbai to check it out. Stand by. Roll sound. And action! Blockbuster Showcase, directed by Blockbuster Director Kabir Khan. The unveil of Nissan's compact SUV was held at a filmy location at Mehboob Studios in Bandra. And there was a lot of showbazi involved. But none of it took away from the star of the show, the Terrano. It looked handsomely different from the duster. The chrome grille, slim angular headlamps, the front bumper with the big air dam. All of them put together proclaimed the Terrano's Nissan genetics. But that's not all. When you look closer, you find that the bonnet, the fenders and the door panels have also been changed. The rear looks distinctive too, with the tail lamps pulled onto the tailgate. When viewed from the side, the Terrano can't escape its duster roots. However, the new alloy wheels look great and the roof rails add a nice meaty touch. Nissan has clearly worked hard to create a distinctive product in a limited time span. We have a 10 years so we can change everything. Right. We can develop the new platform, uh, we can do it. But uh, within, uh, it's about uh, two years. Yeah. But from the uh, uh, start of the, uh, the concept making till the, uh, the start of production, it's about uh, two years. One big update for Terrano is on the inside. The interiors have a lighter color scheme, there are smarter rectangular aircon vents at the center and there's perforated leather upholstery too. All of which helps to lift the ambiance. But the ergonomic shortcomings like the controls for the ORVMs remain. Powering the Terrano will be the familiar 1.5 DCI motor which will be offered in two states of tune and the 1.6 litre petrol motor. We are opening bookings on the 1st of September. We've launched a pre-booking offer at a sub-10 lakh price point. The booking amount would be uh, 50,000 rupees. We will have both variants. 
Desan have said that the Terrano will be priced under 10 lakh rupees. We expect the Terrano to be priced at a 50 to 75,000 rupee premium over the duster. Final pricing will be announced later at its launch next month. Don't go away because after this break, Hormuz tells you what's buzzing in the Indian auto industry in school.